I want to take a new video of my uh, of my kennel I built back in the fall. I built this kennel in uh, the end of September. I was getting this puppy, Fern, and uh, there she is. She's about she was born middle of August, so she's doing pretty good. She's running with the hounds pretty good. She hasn't opened up or anything yet, but she's been showing good interest. She really hunts the brush. She's got field champions. Uh, on her dad's side, both parents are field champions, and her mom is my better dog here, uh, Briar, Rocky Hollow Briar. Uh, his sister is her mom. So, picked her up this fall, and I needed to build a new kennel. So down here in the where the old kennel was, uh, I thought I'd show you what I built. I used uh, it's called horse panel. It's like I don't know, a little less than quarter inch rod. Uh, they come in. 16 foot lengths four foot high Of course, I just bought two panels and cut them in half made eight foot runs. They're about three foot wide each And last evening I built new doors Because the old ones I made were too heavy and I want to build something a little lighter. I just planed down some two by sixes ripped them in half and uh, One by one wire and then just bent some conduit to help brace that door and zip tie them there so, just got the little gate latches here. I think real. In each pen, in each pen here, I just put little clips with uh, just like pots and pans. I got at a junkyard and I drilled a hole there and snapped them in. Bent some uh, coil stock around each hole for the dogs to go in and out so they can't really chew it. They still chew it some, but especially that one. Don't you, Fern? You chewed yours up pretty good. So on the side here, I just used some poplar off trimmings from when I worked at the sawmill that I had saved and made a door. The back was some pine. I just did board and batten. Inside here, I just got each dog's leash and a lead and where I keep the feed in the water bucket. Got some puppy food in there. Um, a little, little dustpan to clean up the floor. Got the nail trimmers in there. And Fern likes to just stick her head up through. I need to put some wire on here. But made a little latch there to keep that up. But each dog has a place where I feed them in here. And, uh, they can sit they got there each got a nice little little spot to to lay down in the evenings what do you think Sid? you like it in here huh mm -hmm. so i'd like to do something different this here i just threw together for the time being i might put wire over it yet so, so to make each panel what i did was i ripped two by sixes pressure treated two by sixes and used a straight route straight uh router bit and i basically dated a little channel for that to lay in and then framed it out and used one of these big saber tooth t30 screws it's like a five incher ran that down in there to hold these panels together and then framed out the fronts with uh pressure treated on the boards what i did was i just gapped them about half to three quarter inch ran them the whole way across that way the uh, the urine can run down in, but the uh, manure lays on top. Fern's puppy, she tends to tramp in hers. Stay. She tends to tramp in hers. So I got to, I mean, I scrape every morning and evening, but I'm going to have to pressure wash this and treat this here this summer. I made a little scoop there, and I use a stick to push the turds on. The other thing I did was I ran lags up inside the bottom and then I just recessed each uh, each place there. That way these can't shift side to side. They are fastened back against the wall, but turned out decent. I'm pretty happy with it. Gives them each space. 
keeps them clean and uh, I got a, I've had this set up but I have a car battery up there and I got it wired up to a switch right here and I got a little 12 volt lights here because I keep my firewood down here as well so when I come down when I come down to feed at 430 in the mornings before work and I come down here I just have one of those little three-quarter inch bullet lights stuck up there which is enough to give them give them enough for feed here for feeding Something I did here is on, on the corners, I 45'd all the pieces, that way the dogs couldn't get a hold and chew. Seems like any place that they can get a hold of, they'll chew. So, that worked out really nicely. What do you think, Briar? Good dog, Rio. Come back in. I'm just showing for the video. You're just showing for the video? Rio. Hey, Rio. Hey. Get in your pen. Good dog. Yep, that's pretty easy. Say we have pretty good beagles. They listen well, don't they? <laughs>